Have you ever been on a ride at an amusement park and wondered if it was safe? The story of this six-year-old boy who lost his life to an unfortunate incident on Lagoon Amusement Park's Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster will give you chills and make you think twice before hopping on any ride ever again. This is the story of the unfortunate incident that claimed the life of six-year-old Ryan Beckstead. It is also a lesson in how, even when all safety precautions are taken, people can still lose their life on a roller coaster due to mistakes that could be considered insignificant or tiny. Amusement parks are often seen as places of fun and joy, but they can also be places of extreme danger. On May 3, 1989, the Lagoon Amusement Park in Farmington, Utah became the site of the tragic accident that resulted in the death of six-year-old Ryan Beckstead. The accident which occurred on the Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster sent shockwaves throughout the community and had a hand in bringing the issue of amusement park safety to the forefront. Lagoon Amusement Park is a popular family destination located in Farmington, Utah. It first opened its doors in 1886, making it one of the oldest amusement parks in the United States. Over the years, Lagoon has expanded to include more than 50 rides, including roller coasters, water rides, and kiddie rides, as well as a variety of games, shows, and attractions. One of the park's most iconic rides is the Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster. This ride, which is designed for children, features a brightly colored dragon-themed train that takes riders on a gentle journey through a medieval castle and past whimsical characters and scenes. The Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster was built by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company in 1978 and it quickly became a favorite among young park visitors. The ride was designed to be safe and fun with a maximum speed of just 16 miles per hour and a height of only 25 feet. Over the years, the ride has been fixed up and improved in several ways to keep it running well and keep its riders safe. However, despite all these renovations, a terrible accident happened on the ride in 1989, killing six-year-old Ryan Beckstead. Ryan Beckstead, born to Paul and Christine Beckstead, was a bright and energetic six-year-old boy from Murray, Utah. On May 3, 1989, his family took him to visit Lagoon Amusement Park. They were looking forward to a fun-filled day of rides and attractions, so they decided to put him aboard the Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster, a ride specifically designed for children. Little did they know that the day would turn out to be anything but fun and would instead bring forth a dark and horrible event that would forever be etched into their memories. On that fateful day, the Puff the Little Fire Dragon roller coaster had completed two rounds around its course and had come to a complete stop. However, some of the cars had come to rest beyond the end of the platform. At this point, it would appear that little Ryan had concluded that his turn on the ride had ended. He managed to slip through the restraining devices and then proceeded to exit the vehicle. Another parent who was on the scene said she too thought the ride had finished and she had already started to walk towards the ride because her children were in the front cars that had gone past the platform. She had feared that they might hurt themselves if they tried to exit the ride on their own. At this point, probably because the queue for the ride wasn't long, the 18-year-old rookie ride operator asked if the guests wanted another round on the ride. When the parents affirmed that their kids should have another go at the ride, she then went on to start the ride again, utterly unaware that Ryan had already begun to alight from the car. At about the same time, Ryan was now almost out of the last car where he was seated. When the car suddenly started to move up an incline, Ryan attempted to get back in the car. However, he failed to do so quickly enough and as a result fell out of the back car, slipping down through the tracks and falling onto the ride's operating platform. Gambrel and some of the other parents had seen the entire thing unfold. The little boy started to get out of the ride. He turned to get back in. As it was going up the incline, he was thrown to the tracks. He fell through and had grease on his face, she said. Gambrel and the other parents in the area began yelling for the ride to be stopped as soon as they understood the danger the boy was in. Ryan himself, at this point, was trying to climb out through a space between the tracks and the platform. Unfortunately, however, he was struck by the ride's front car as it made its 10 to 12 second return to the station. There were two other children in the car Ryan had been in, however, they both emerged unscathed. 
Witnesses say Paul Beckstead, the boy's father, had hopped the fence surrounding the children's roller coaster and was trying to reach his son after he had fallen from the ride. However, the man's brave actions were all in vain as the child was struck and killed by the car before he could reach him. Travis Merrill, a West Bountiful resident whose children were on the same Lagoon Amusement Park ride and who saw the tragedy, confirmed that the accident had occurred after parents and riders thought it was time to get off. When the operator finally understood the danger at hand, she tried to put on the brakes, but by then it was already too late. The car had already hit little Ryan, killing him on the spot. The operator was reportedly very traumatized by the incident as she collapsed to the ground shortly after. But before that, she tried to call emergency services or her superiors while screaming, I killed a little boy. The boy's mother also started crying while saying, You killed my baby. Oh God, my little boy. After the incident, investigations were kicked off. The police started reconstructing the accident, checking the brakes on the ride, and interviewing witnesses. Additional timing and braking tests on the coaster ride were carried out by the investigators to determine if the ride could have been stopped in time to save the child's life. We found no criminal negligence on the part of either Lagoon or the operator, said Farmington Police Sergeant Jeff Jacobson. He noted that the police and the Davis County Attorney's Office had found no reason to file criminal charges against the ride operator or Lagoon Corp. According to him, if Ryan's parents file a lawsuit, the courts will have to decide on issues of civil negligence and liability. According to Jacobson, the investigations confirm the accounts of eyewitnesses. The boy had lost his balance and fallen out of the car, striking the rails and then the ground. As the car approached, he attempted to climb up a space between the platform and the tracks. By the time the operator realized there was a problem, he said, it was too late to do anything about it. He claimed that the ride operator was so preoccupied with her work that she didn't notice the parents yelling to stop the ride, or that the child had fallen out of the ride until the coaster was already in free fall. He attributed this to the fact that it was the operator's first year at Lagoon and her first weekend on the job. Ryan's memory continues to be honored by his family and friends. However, his death also serves as a reminder of the importance of safety in all aspects of life. The loss of Ryan was a tragedy that should never have happened if only more thought had been given to the unpredictable behavior of the children on the ride. So, the next time you visit an amusement park, remember the story of Ryan Beckstead and always prioritize your safety and the safety of those around you. It's important to remember that while amusement parks can be fun, they can also be dangerous, and it's up to all of us to make sure that we are safe while we're having a good time.